Hello everyone. Now we are going to see about Einstein conversation insights. What is Einstein conversation insights? How to set up that and how to use that. So what is conversation insights? So Einstein conversation insights is a feature available for sales and service users that gives the ability to see insights and trends from the voice and video calls. So we can analyze the mentions of specific keywords, phrases and points of interest. Representative and managers can review the call transcript or see the areas that need some tension or follow-ups from the action items tab. So basically Einstein conversation insights allows us to connect with the voice and video recorder then analyze the call and give the insights and the action items based on that. So these are the default insight types and are provided by the sales force for the sales purpose. So some of them are next steps, pricing, mens and challenges. So it checks all of this insight type in the call and it gives the insights based on this. Salesforce support these recording providers. When coming to the video call, it supports Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Zoom meetings. When it comes to audio call, it supports any items which is mentioned here. So uh, setting up Einstein conversation insights involves five steps. First, we need to turn on the Einstein conversation insights. Then we need to connect to the voice or video recording providers. Then we need to turn on additional insights feature. Then assigning the permission set and set up the call in Insights. We see it one by one. So first one we need to turn on the Einstein conversation insights. So for that we can go to the setup and Einstein conversation insight and we need to turn on the settings here. I have already turned it on that's why it's uh, showing in the green. So next connect voice or video recording providers. So, so as mentioned it Salesforce supports many video and voice recording providers. For this demo purpose I have connected with the Microsoft Teams. So here in the voice recording providers I didn't connect anything. I connected with the video recording providers and Microsoft Teams that's why it's on and while you are doing the setup uh, it will ask for the agree terms of service and uh, if you want to exclude any email address that you don't want to do the video recording inside the Salesforce so all those things you need to set it up and you need to connect with the Microsoft uh, admin account after that uh, it will be connected to the Salesforce so now we have enabled the ancient conversation insights and connected with the Microsoft Microsoft Teams. So next step is training on the additional conversation insights feature. So when we scroll down there are different other features are uh, available. Optimal speaker separation and uh, related record matching. It matches the related record uh, to the video or voice record and uh, training on the insight report and the conversation related message. So we can see in the uh, dashboards and reports. So, so these are the additional insights feature that we need to enable. So the next uh, assigning the relevant permission set. So in order to enable the user to use the ancient conversation insights we need to enable the permission set so here in the assign conversation insights permission set we can click add assignment and assign the permission set to the relevant user so next is setting up the call insights so so we already saw the different type of insights type that is provided by salesforce by default we can also set up our custom insights so for that we can configure either generative insights using the ai or keyword based insights so so that let's see that in action so that is an option called setup call insights here we can click uh, setup so when we click setup call insights it's taking to the call insights page i have already set it up the one insight so uh, it is for the competitor so let me show how to configure the insight so there are two types keyword based insight and generative insight generative insight is not enabled for this work so i am going with the keyword insights so here we can set it up the keyword based on the competitor or product or custom insights so i am selecting competitor maybe like if you want to notice uh, in our voice recording call to give the insight if uh, joho is mentioned in the call so if customer mentions uh, like i have already set it up the customer Customer competitor based insight that's why it's coming automatically HubSpot and Joho so I am monitoring for the HubSpot and Joho keywords in the call recording so if I want to add some more keywords for this uh, we can add it like uh, Microsoft dynamics crm so what it will do ancient conversation insights will look for these keywords in the call recording and it will spotlight us if that is anything mentioned related to this keyword this is how we can set up the call insights and this is the screenshot that i took uh, when i was setting up so next outcome so when coming to the call insights outcome how it will look like in the menu bar we can go to the ancient conversation insights and in the conversations we can see the all the conversations uh, and in the analytics 
analytics we can see the all the analytics sir. so here i don't have any recording for now and i have rec old recording but that i didn't enable to show it here because that was confidential but this is how ui looks like and uh, here i have added the detailed screen sort of so when we open the any recorded call we can see the all the insights in the left side we can see the like question type pricing type next steps challenges type like that these are the automatic insights and these are the insights that we can set it up custom way that we just saw how to set up the competitor insights for the joho and microsoft dynamic crm for tracking that we set up the competitors insights so like that we can set up our own insights and we can see it we can also set up the generative insights feature if you are using the generative ai related product and here we can see the participant who are participated in this and uh, uh, call started uh, call duration long which uh, call type how this call happened whether it is google meet or microsoft teams like that and related record so based on the participant ancient conversation insights can uh, link to the related salesforce record and the owner name and here we can see the all the transcript details and by for the each transcript it will also show the insights if there is any insights associated with that and uh, here we can see the call summary and if we go to the action item tab we can see the action items and all these things for sales rep and managers it's easy to recall call details and take the actions accordingly so the next we can uh, the one way is we can open the video call record and we can see the details and another one way is we can open the related record under the related record we can see like voice call or video call is automatically tracking on the under the activities panel so this is how we can use the ancient conversation insights and we can also create the analytics report based on that here are these are the uh, keywords for each keyword we can see like how many calls this keyword was mentioned in how many calls our competitor name was mentioned so all those uh, insights we can track in the insights analytics so the common errors like uh, if you open some video call or audio call record it will be there in salesforce but it will give the error like this call does not meet the minimum processing requirement so the reason why we get this error is in order to record the video call or voice call record inside the salesforce and to process that for voice call it needs to be longer than 10 seconds and for video call it needs to be longer than one minute and calls needs to have at least two participants and one participant with being non-internal so if all participants are internal users then call is not going to be tracked and host or organizer of that meeting so ancient conversation insights user so if the host or organizer is not ancient conversation Conversation insights uh, user permission set is assigned then it's not going to be tracked so that's all about Einstein conversation insights uh, thank you so much everyone